vlog but you gotta maintain your belly as well so I'm actually gonna eat and this gotta be it this gotta be the restaurant that they recommended me to go to okay. so my nails are done and pretty and I'm gonna get some food and I'll pop up the prices on the screen Me squad we're back in the car I got a medium lunch it's a fried chicken with curry gravy rice and peas and cabbage and it came up to seven hundred and twenty dollars so my fingers since i was getting a fill came up to two thousand eight hundred dollars and my toes also came up to two thousand eight hundred they have a special going on which was two thousand five hundred for gel pedicure and I already had tips on so it was $300 extra to fill my tips on my big toe so we are going to head out I will see you another day when I go for my wax and I will also see you next week when I go to get my hair done the style that I picked was 4,800 I believe but I changed it I sent the style that I want now to the hairdresser and she's yet to respond back to me so when she respond back um, I'm gonna let you know how much the price is if anything it probably come up to like five thousand dollars but I'll let you know and the wax should be around four thousand but we're we're winging it four thousand five hundred so when we get to those stages of the maintenance week then I will let you know how much it costs so so far we've spent this much this much amount of money on maintaining our looks and our mind so <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later bye hey 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 it's a couple days later so we last left off I believe at what I did with my nails and food so now we're actually heading to get gas I need to get gas and I'm wondering if I should include like gas prices because it's a maintenance vlog and I have to drive there so gas is coming out of it right but um, I'll just insert how much gas costs overall per 1987 I think in Jamaica um, and let you do the math because I cannot <laughs> and then I'm gonna go buy some hair. I have two bundles, not two bundles, I have two packs of some blonde 84 inch expression hair. I need uh, three, bun three packs of black hair. So it should be 900 and something dollars per pack, but we'll see. And then my hairstyle, I want a specific thing done, so I know it's gonna be more than what I got in my email which I believe was four thousand eight hundred dollars so it might come up to five thousand um, not too sure might come up to five thousand I'll definitely let you know at the end of the night how much everything comes to and what the hairstyle looks like I always stray away from doing these type of hairstyles which I'm gonna pop up here I always stray away from doing those because my forehead like guys I'm so insecure about my forehead my forehead is just big <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to step out of my box I'm really trying the reason why I even got green nails and green toes I don't normally do that so I'm really trying here the next thing I have scheduled tomorrow is my wax which is 4,700. I'll be getting a Brazilian and underarm sugar wax. So I'm looking forward to that. That would be my first experience. I'll follow up with you again on the price of how much it costs tomorrow. And I don't think I'm gonna get lashes. I was gonna do lash extensions and incorporate $2,000 for my time. And then yeah so when i reach the beauty supply store and the gas station i'll bring you guys with me just bought the hair and the hair for three packs of expression came up to two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars and when i did the math it was seven hundred and fifty dollars 
per pack, which is a good deal. So normally it would have been like 900. So I'm getting something to eat and I'm getting chicken and chips and that's $800. So yeah, the maintenance going pretty good so far. Shein. So I have a mini try on haul with some back to school items because you know summer is slowly coming to an end. I know we're going to miss it but some of you girls and guys have to go back to school and even if you're not going back to school these are some amazing pieces that you can put into your wardrobe for fall. So I'm going to jump on into it. I'm going to first show you some jeans that I got and they're corduroy jeans. The try on section will just pop up anywhere in this video and all the links and sizes will be down in the description box. So I got three jeans. They're the same style, corduroy, but they're different colors and I think this color scheme is just perfect for fall. And as you can see in the try on, they fit very nice. I was like skeptical but when I was reading the reviews and I always recommend you to read the reviews because they're super helpful with regards to sizing up, sizing down or maybe even passing on the item but I went ahead with the jeans as you can see they're corduroy. It's not the thickest material it's very breathable so it's fine if you're in a warmer uh, climate like I am right now then it's it's perfectly fine it's not too thick if you are somewhere colder then maybe wearing a thin tights underneath would help with the warmth but for the most part it's pretty nice and like I said I have the three colors which is this light brown there's a dark brown like caramel color and this green green color I like the way it fits and it also flares out a bit at the bottom so it's pretty nice I give it a 9 out of 10 now to follow up with that I also got this tight this one fits pretty well it's a nice checkered print uh, wouldn't necessarily say hound's tooth but it, it gives hound's tooth but it's more of a checkered print it also flares out at the bottom and it has a slit which I really like at the side this one fits pretty nice as well. Again, all the links and sizes are down in the description box. Then right behind of that, I got the sweatpants. I know everybody loves back to school sweatpants, especially for the days where you don't feel like dressing up. A sweatpants is the perfect piece of item to, to put in your wardrobe, even when you're just lounging at home or you're running errands. So this sweatpants fit pretty really nicely and it cinches at the bottom. The material isn't like sweatpants material, it's more like under armor material but it's still very comfortable and you can get it fitted. I got it fitted but you can size up and wear it looser if you want. The next things now are two skirts that I got. I really have been into wearing um thigh length skirts so i definitely jumped on that trend and i got these um checkered prints i'm gonna pop up the right name of of the the prints because i keep saying everything's checkered but i'm pretty sure these aren't all checkered but i love it it's giving me librarian it's giving me school teacher and i don't know i love it and it's the perfect length it is very very thin so you're gonna have to wear this with tights if you're in a warmer weather i mean a colder weather and you want to be warm but it's perfect for maybe warm places like if you live in florida or if you live in the east coast then it's it's great it's not too thick then this one is a bit thicker but the color is more pink and black giving more goth but still really pretty very similar length very similar shape we're gonna move on to a top I got this black 
top very black basic it's actually really nice it fits really nice and i definitely sized up i just want to make a note of that this is a size large and it still fits pretty tight but if i didn't read the reviews and i got a medium it definitely wouldn't have fit me so make sure you read the reviews drop some reviews if you have any items that you got that you you know you want to tell people like guys size up but this one fits really nice and it matches every single item that i have so i can make plenty of outfits i'm really into the blazer vibe and you know i i want to i want to look put together sometimes when i'm wearing basic tops and basic jeans or even like any of the skirts that i showed you i know double patterning it might be a bit much but i think it's completely worth it i think it's i think it's out of the box and sometimes you want to be out of the box you know but i got this black one it's a double busted blazer i believe you can cut the threads to access the pockets but for now the pockets aren't usable but it fits really nice i would definitely recommend to size up and i experimented because i got a medium on this one and i got a large on this one and the large fits much better so definitely think about sizing up now i got three dresses this green dress it's more of like a jersey material it fits really cute as well i think i want to get it tailored though to cinch it in because it is wider in the lower areas it's more like an a-line dress so as you can see in the try on it's definitely more a-line and it's long it sits right above my ankles but it, it fits nice and i think it's cute i love the the puffy sleeves and i love the buttons at the front the next dress that i got is another printed dress this one fits really nice this is definitely girl next door i'm running late so let me throw this dress on so i don't miss class and it stops about mid thigh not mid thigh a little bit below my knee so mid calf this one is really really cute and it has adjust adjustable straps has adjustable straps I like this one the picture on the website had it on with a t-shirt and i think that's a cute way especially like i said if you're in a colder climate a t-shirt underneath would really sell it off a white one or a black one even when you're going back to school you might have some functions that you want to dress up for and i think that this dress is really really pretty it fits nicely it cinches at the waist and it ties at the neck so it gives you a lot of shape it is a bit thin and a little bit see-through but for the most part it's a really cute flowy nice dress that you can wear to any school event work event that you have coming up in the fall the last three items that I have are some accessories I got these shoes and I know they're not everyone's cup of tea but guys I like it I think it's really cute it gives me back to school vibes if you're from like the Caribbean and schools in Asia and Africa and maybe even like private schools in America and Europe then you definitely understand these type of shoes not with the the gold accessories but the shoe style itself I think that trend is really cute it gives me a schoolgirl vibe like I said wear it with a nice skirt I even paired it with this tights that I have and it looks so cute especially because the tights covered a bit of the shoes and it had a slit at the side it was giving but ah uh, i know it's not everybody's cup of tea let me know if you if you like this style i just i think it's really cute i think it's really cute and then i have two bags that look very very similar to each other but different in a way they're just really really cute i like them So they both come with adjustable straps both come with adjustable straps and inside of the bags are pretty decent this comes with a little pocket to keep her change or loose paper cards lip gloss and then this one also comes with adjustable straps in a different format and again on the inside this is what it's looking like 
if you like any of these items please drop a comment down below and let me know make sure you check out the description box and use my discount code right here check out all the links and all the sizes and yeah stay tuned for the rest of the vlog bye guys Good morning B squad again. I'm always coming to you from the car and I swear it is never my intention to always come to you from the car. Majority of the time I'm in the car so I want to talk to you guys I'm gonna pull out the camera I'm actually on my way now to my wax appointment and I'm getting a sugar wax I'm getting a Brazilian and underarm I didn't get the chance to share with you but the link to all of the places that I will be going to and maybe a couple other places that I'd recommend for activities that I haven't gotten done yet I will share those in the description box, I'll share their Instagram, I'll share the website, phone numbers, all of these things you can also find on the Instagram, but I'll go to Extra Mile and I'll share those just in case you don't have an Instagram. Anywho, I am driving to the appointment now, so I'll catch you when I get there. I'll be there early, so I'll be able to pull out the camera and talk to you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And share this video and if you think it's interesting the prices or if you think it's cheaper than what you're used to or more expensive than what you're used to then please share that with me in the comment section I would love to hear all about in it. 600 meters keep left to continue on Washington Boulevard yeah that's where I am Bye. hey so I'm here at my wax appointment I'm 20 minutes early so I'm just parked outside I'm gonna watch something on Netflix that I've been watching the Lincoln lawyer it's good. It's so good. I had it in my downloads for like a couple months, so I'm finally watching it, and it's really good. But this is my hair from yesterday. I'm gonna show you better when I get to the Starbucks at AC. But girl, I'm really glad that I got these two pieces, only because I'm. I said this yesterday. I'm a bit self-conscious about my forehead. It's huge. I know it's fine. I love it. It's okay. But it, I'm still self-conscious about it. Nothing anybody will say will make me feel any type of different, but I myself am trying to work on how I feel about my, my forehead. Um, but I can also pull it back, and this is what I realized I could do this morning, and it gives it, well, it, it kind of gives it a cool look, but you'd have to see it in person. So I can have that full, full back look, or I can have it hanging, and again, this was $4,500 but I paid 5000 I have peekaboo blonde underneath so you wouldn't really see it you see it from the back because the blonde will show at the, the bottom and then I also have two pieces where it is um, braided in but starting here as you can see so girl I don't know I feel good nails did hair did about to get waxed and everything is coming up to so far under 150 US dollars so I know some people pay about 150 US dollars for their hair in America that is and um, other places but we're doing pretty good so the next time you see me I'll be on that waxing bed get my armpit wax get my coochie <laughs> meow meow <laughs> getting that waxed all right, I gotta go. Bye. This is not the cutest angle. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I actually have two or three waxing videos. I have three waxing videos. Two Brazilian waxes, one in Jamaica, one abroad, and I have an upper lip waxing video. Those videos got views like crazy. But we're not here to talk about that. This is just a view right now. I can definitely show you my armpit. So, it's, it's some hair underneath there. You guys know I can do this myself, but sometimes it's nice to just treat yourself. It's some hair up underneath there. So we're gonna get that sugared, and then 
and then down there but i'll just be showing you my reaction the lighting is down there so when she comes back maybe she'll just gonna bring the lighting up higher i don't know um but yeah don't make fun of me if i make any faces i'm ready to fight okay peacefully it's not too short because i did shave Mm -hmm. All right. so how has life been? <laughs> um, stressing uh, a friend is still missing yeah, I'm sorry about that I'm trying to stay positive as crazy as it sounds. Yeah. Okay, so the application can be uncomfortable. Yeah. That is a main thing. It's always the first pull, really, you know. Mm -hmm. To get you back. Especially to after a year. After you know, waxing, all of them give you the ouch feeling, but the second rip after the first rip was fine. did nails did wax ripped um yeah i was planning on getting like maybe um a facial or some type of spa treatment but that's not really something that i normally do it's like a once in a while thing and um i'm gonna see if it does come up then it will be in the video as well but if not then i probably will be ending off the video pretty soon and i'm just gonna bring up the grand total that we've spent so far again i'm just so grateful and yeah i'll see you guys in the next clip bye so for today's treat since i had box food yesterday and box food the day after i'm treating myself to a brownie i got it warmed up as a double chocolate chip brownie which was three usd and i got a venti iced matcha tea latte with two pumps of vanilla and i got it with almond milk because they didn't have oat milk so interested to see how that is